Hi again, it's Jeff. As I've said in previous videos, it's incredibly important as a driving instructor that you build a great knowledge of your local area where you're going to be training and practicing in with your students. Um, so that you have the ability to choose the best practice areas, uh, but also have the adaptability and flexibility to change those practice areas if needed. Because unfortunately, sometimes you'll get over to a practice area and maybe it's way busier than you thought it was going to be, or maybe there's a road closure or something like that. Uh, and you need to think on your feet. Um, you need to be adaptable and flexible and simply change to a different practice area, maybe even change to a different lesson topic. And that's fine, that's acceptable. Your students won't mind as long as you don't fret, as long as you don't panic or get in a stress. And of course, you keep them informed. As always, if you want further information on how you can become a great driving instructor, pass your part one, part two and part three tests, uh, and hopefully go on to enjoy a long, successful and profitable career as an instructor, uh, please check out the links in the information below, which will take you to our website and also um, give you access to a totally free seven day trial where you will be able to watch our entire video library of students' real lessons plus part two training videos as well. So please take advantage of that. It's not gonna cost you anything and nobody's gonna be chasing you up or hassling you to subscribe. But if you do wanna subscribe, then there are monthly payment options, just 15 pounds a month or you can subscribe for an entire year for just £140, which is the equivalent of around about 40 pence a day. Okay, uh, thanks again for watching as always. Take care and I will see you again soon in another video. Cheers, bye. So just get our car completely into the field today so it's not blocking the road behind us. Follow that car around to the left. Okay, and then just follow it again. Just just ease off into first, or you first get so just ease off a little bit. Let just let them get away slightly. Okay. Okay, let's go to a different area of the car park. This is getting a little bit busy with learners at the moment. We're all going to end up getting in each other's way. Okay, so if you just turn left here, I'm going to go to the very furthest end of the car park. Yeah, hopefully, that's going to be quiet enough for us to use. If not, let's go somewhere else. Just keep following this lane. See where that white 4x4 has just turned in? Yeah, we're going to take that entrance into the car. Okay, and then we're going to go down to the very far end of this lane. Would you be surprised if I've never done a car park before? Um, no, no, I wouldn't. Just, well, uh, <laughs> I should be surprised, but no, under the circumstances, I'm not okay. surprised. Right. So just keep everything nice and uh -huh. slow. Okay. Steer to the left. Okay. It's looking like it's a little bit busy here. So we'll just keep following this road round to the left. And I think we'll go and find a much quieter car park. Yeah. Because I think if you've never done a car park before, it's a bit unfair to ask you to start practicing around uh, other vehicles. <coughs> okay, it's another car park that we can use that's not far away. Just follow this lane round to the left. Now at this give way line, I'm going to turn right, but it is a give way line, even though it's a car park, it's still treated as you would if you're on the road. And 
turning right again. Clutch down, stop. So. And they, they look like they're letting us turn out. Or, or not, as the case may be. straight on but we want to be in the right hand lane as we exit the roundabout. So just have a look, see when you think it can be the next opportunity to go. Yep. Second gear straight away. That's it. So come off here but stay in the right hand lane. That's it. I'm just going to stay in this lane now until we get to the next roundabout. 